Hi guys, it's me again. I'm Dan and welcome back to another video. So today is day 15 of Vlogmas The Memories 2023. Today is a bit of a weird one, I can't lie. It is already 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I literally have had nothing to do and I've been completely thrown off course because last night I ended up being up until 2 o'clock editing for starters, so that didn't help. I then just went to sleep but really didn't have any motivation to get up so I ended up not getting up until about 2 o'clock. I slept for a while. Basically now I'm just sort of chilling around the house and that's all I'll be doing today but I am going to try and get some Christmassy stuff in there. I might watch a Christmas film. There's lots to choose from I think so yeah but uh, with the exception of the four Christmas Eve and 23rd of December ones which are planes, trains and automobiles and night before night before Christmas on the 23rd and then Polo Express and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation on the 24th. We always have that tradition of watching those films then. For now, I'll pick something else, but um, I've made myself some food. And I also need to do the two lots of advent calendars based on what I missed yesterday. So I will do that. Okay, advent calendars. So I need to do day 14 and day 15. A bow tie thing. And we've got a, I believe, gingerbread man. Yes, it is a gingerbread man. In fact, I'll do it this way, a calendar at a time still, and then go like, this one's not open. Yeah, so I was, I'll do it that way, so that I have the both the milk chocolates first, and then both the white chocolates second. So then we've got a star. I love the stars because they're really thick, and also that detail in the middle is gorgeous. And then number 14 on this one is down here. I think a reindeer again. We've had that one before, I believe. <coughs> we have a... I don't actually know what that is. Is it a stocking? Maybe it's a stocking. But it might actually be a snowman. Ah, it's a snowman. Yeah, there you go. You can see the face at the top. Number 15 is here. Again, sorry that I am still trying to eat this. And there's that. Hmm. And a Christmas tree. It's really wide. <laughs> oh my god. I'm ordering a Domino's because I feel like I just really need it. And I haven't eaten a lot today, so I need to actually get the calories up. I am in desperate need of Domino's. And I said I deserved it because of all the hard work I've put in last few months with the chorus line stuff, like the directing and the learning different pieces and songs and dances and stuff. So I felt like for that specifically, I've earned a Domino's this week. And so, yeah, I'm going to do that and I'm going to order that. So that'll be nice. And then after that, I'm going to watch the Christmas film I promised. Okay, so I've found that I am really struggling to get anything done today. It's such a like chilled vibe that I'm having just because I need to have this day to myself. Yeah, the vlogging's not working, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of a Christmas tag, as I've done before, but because it's been two years since my last Vlogmas series, I want to do something where it kind of updates that a little bit. So yeah, I've decided that I want to do a Christmassy themed tag. I know they're quite popular. Um, these videos every year. So. I'm going to answer 20 questions about Christmas basically. Hopefully they all tell you what you need to know. So yes, let's get started on that. Question one is use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. Ah! It's, I think I think that's the noise because although I'm excited, ah as in it's scary how close it is and like I still have to do loads of Christmas shopping. So it's kind of a bit of excitement and a bit of nervousness and stress. Typical Christmas season, I imagine. But typical Christmas season, really, when you're buying last minute Christmas shopping, as I always do. Then I'm going to do some last minute Christmas shopping, four days before Christmas, standard last minute. <laughs> then... Do you open any Christmas presents on Christmas Eve? Actually, yes, because me and my man do a little like Christmas Eve box type thing, but not like the type that you guys are kids, something different. We give each other like a few presents on Christmas Eve, so yeah. I hope that continues this year, but we never, you never know what will happen. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to the most this year? I think for me, obviously the, the best ones are like presents and spending time with family and also like the Christmas dinner and stuff. Really there's a lot of things that kind of just make Christmas and I'm just excited for it in general really, although I've mentioned a few traditions which I am really excited for. Is your Christmas... Is your Christmas tree real or fake? It is fake. Well, we have two, but they're both fake. And for me, I prefer that just because it 
would be such a mess. For me, it's not something I would do to get a real one, but I know I understand why people would love a real one. What is your what is your favourite Christmas film? My favourite Christmas film is The Polar Express, but as I mentioned earlier, I'd say there's really two main ones I personally have to watch every year, which is The Polar Express and The Night Before The Night Before Christmas, which is I watch on the 23rd because it's two days before Christmas. Those two always, always, always have. But I also have more recently gotten to the traditions, which my mum and Becky also have watched, which are Planes, Trains and Automobiles, which uh, my mum watched a lot more recently. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which my mum and Becky always used to watch and I used to watch a bit of, but they always got too tired to watch. But in recent years, I've started to finish watching it and watching it through, so that's good. But they're very good films, and those traditions of watching those films will continue this year, so yes, very exciting. Question six, where do you usually spend your Christmas? So I usually just spend it at home. We do obviously go out places, like we go for out for Christmas dinner. Uh, we're going to Toby this year, which is the best choice, but you can never usually get booked in, but this time we did, so Toby Carvery for Christmas dinner. What a banging choice. And then we, all, we also sometimes do go and see other family. I don't think we are spending Christmas with as many family members this year, and that's because things are just laid out a little bit differently this year. So it's still gonna be a great Christmas and lots to look forward to, but yeah, usually just kind of at home and seeing family, really. Question seven, what is your favourite Christmas song? My favourite Christmas song is Merry Christmas by Ed Sheeran and Elton John. It's only just come out in recent years, it's relatively new, but yeah, I love that song so much. I just kind of fell in love with it as my favourite Christmas song. What What is your all-time favourite holiday food or sweet treat? It's not a sweet food. It is a savoury snack, I'd say. I like the Jacob's cheeselet, but they call them treeslets at Christmas. I love those, those are definitely my favourite. I just can't stop eating them as soon as I get them out and start eating them because they get so moorish, it's insane, but yeah. Question nine, do you prefer giving or receiving gifts? Uh, I do prefer giving them to people because when people are open and present, it's so rewarding because of all your hard work that you put in. I think for me especially, I do kind of overwork myself and don't know where the limit is sometimes <laughs> with buying Christmas presents. So because of that, I end up being like, hmm, I really, really hope that these people like their presents. Oh well, I'm hoping I haven't spent too much money. <laughs> Question 10, what is your favourite thing about Christmas? So I think my favourite thing about Christmas is we always do have our traditions. We watch the Christmas films or we go to the beach on Christmas Eve or my mum will hide a Christmas bell around the house like in reference to the Polar Express. I have to find that every year. Like we always have so many like festive traditions to really create the Christmas mood which like you love really and so it's really nice and I think the traditional aspect of Christmas is probably one of my favourite things. When do you start getting excited for Christmas? I mean, I get excited for Christmas really quickly because the college and university that I've been to over the last sort of five years, four years-ish, have done something where we have a full Christmas week at the end of the semester. We have like things where we watch a film or do Christmas Olympics as we did in college or we did uh, Secret Santa both times, things like that. So we kind of had the real Christmas vibe a lot earlier, but I always make sure that as soon as December starts, I'm really feeling that Christmas vibe. Question 12, what is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Hold on a minute, because it's actually right here. So uh, this is my favourite Christmas present ever. It was actually the last time I did vlog was 2021. This canvas of my leopards. Although it's not up to date, it still is important because these were like my kind of leopards which I originally had and it's like I've now started phase two of the leopards. I don't know how far it's going to go because I, I always expect it to be over when I get one and then I get another one like eventually, I don't know, don't know how that keeps happening. If I end up getting more then so be it, I'll love them just as much. I am delusional. I am delusional. <laughs> That is my favourite Christmas present that I've ever had. What is the worst Christmas present you've ever received? I wouldn't say there really is necessarily a worst one because I'm, don't, I always am happy with whatever I get and I'm always trying to be as grateful as I can be. I'd say just like, the, when, when you get like a bar of chocolate or something like that, it's just kind of, it's not up to the same level as some of the other presents. They're so reliable and I will absolutely have all of it. Probably not as good Christmas presents as what everything else is, so not that I would ever want to stop getting chocolate, and as I said, there's not really a worse Christmas present you can get. You know what I mean. <laughs> as a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you would have really wanted? Not really, but I don't think I would have really known, because the, like, 
age gap is about 11 years between me and Betty. Never really was that, and so we kind of were interested in different things growing up. Betty was only kind of grown up by the time I was growing up, so I wouldn't say so, no, not really. What would be your dream place to visit during the Christmas season? So I would love a city break at Christmas, that would be unbelievable. Whether that's somewhere more like London, even in this country, or just somewhere abroad like New York or Copenhagen, somewhere like that. I think probably those are the places that would be ideal, but you never know what's around the corner. I absolutely love the idea of a city break at Christmas because they have a lot of lights up, but London especially, I would love to go to London at Christmas. As a lot of you may know, London is really my favourite city because it's in our country, it feels like partly home because I've been so many times, but yeah, I just, I just love it, it's amazing and I would love to go to London at Christmas. Question 16, what is your most memorable Christmas moment? So for me, it is 100% when we did that tradition I was talking about, that where we hide the bell or where my mum hides the bell. We did it one year, I think it might have been last year or maybe it was the year before. It was literally like we did it, we kind of were on the same wavelength and like we were telepathic with each other. So my mum was like, right, I'm going to send you the location of the bell through telepathy and then... I was like, hmm, let me try and feel that. And then I turned around right behind us. I like moved something out of the way and it was underneath it. I was like, whoa. So it was, it was very uh, festive and magical, that. Question 17, do you make New Year's resolutions and do you stick to them? I wouldn't say like I go out my way to make any. I also don't really like it when people say that they are completely against and opposed to them. Like what's, what's a New Year's resolution gonna do to you? It's just a, a thing to like help you be a better person and it's like yeah why wouldn't that be a good thing i definitely would if i could think of any but to be honest the reason why i don't is that i'm just kind of oblivious to the world question 19 it's kind of very similar to question 10 but i'll go there anyway what is your favorite part about christmas i want to say it's to do with all of the tradition the festivity just the, the atmosphere really especially on christmas eve because you can feel it there's something in the air on christmas eve like you really can feel the energy it's just a really beautiful atmosphere when that happens I love the festivities and the traditions and stuff that, that happen because of that. Question 20, you've been granted one Christmas wish, what will it be? I think for me it would just be like having as many healthy and happy Christmases in the world for everyone as possible. And I know that sounds really generic, I just think it's really important that that is the case. It just means a lot to me for positivity to me be maintained at Christmas because I know it's really really hard and it has been really difficult for a lot of people in recent years. It's just something which is really important to me and, you know, it's the perfect time for everyone to be brought together. So yes, uh, that is the Christmas tag. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little section of the video and yeah, now I'll get back to the vlogging. Okay, so I decided to watch Spirited again because it's just such a good film that I just honestly had to watch it again. But I also wanted me out to watch it, so it's just great. I love it so much. <laughs> Alright everyone, so I am really done for the day. I've tried my best today and it's just not worked out. I've just literally crashed and I needed to just kind of take myself away from the world a little bit. You've got your little Christmas tag to enjoy today. So I hope that you have enjoyed that. And yeah, I guess all I have to say is that I'll see you tomorrow.